Hello, everybody. We are going back in time today. Sometimes you get the biggest surprises when you're out hunting, and I did in the last uh, few days out in some of the rural areas that I visit for work. Now, the car you're looking at, I didn't find, but I want to kind of set the stage. That is the 55 Chevy panel that was released in 2006 in the basic range. Now, if you're a Hot Wheels fan, this will seem a little weird if you had, didn't collect back then that this model was actually released in the main line. The models that we're used to now have plastic bases, maybe metal bodies, and then they have four pieces, essentially. Window, body, interior, chassis, and then the wheels on top of that. This is a has a metal body. I'm going to pull back. Metal body, metal base, an opening piece, and a little metal motorcycle that comes right out. How cool is that? That was an awesome model. I only saw the basic range once, and ever since we've seen it in premium ranges. You can see the PR5 wheels on it. This was a neat model to find. Even had the uh, front and side tampos as well. That was what Hot Wheels was like. Now, this was an anomaly. Most cars were not like this, but this is a special model they released in limited numbers. People were gobbling them up like they were treasure hunts. Anyway, that was 2006. That was a fun time to collect. And I went into a grocery store the other day in a rural area where I live. And crazy enough, I found some 2006 models. And we are going to go through what I found. I might even open a couple. Not all, because some of these I'm going to keep carded. Because I already have in my collection, but I thought these were fun to get. And then, alongside those 2006, were some 2009s over here, which I'm going to show as well. So, there were a lot of 2006 models there. I only picked up a couple. One is the Porsche Carrera. Now, just to kind of give you a little sense, this was a first edition, meaning this was the first release of the Porsche Carrera. Those wheels were new back then. And I thought these were OH5 wheels. Now you can see this is one of the final years when they didn't put the artwork for the actual model on the card. I think that started in 2008, if I'm correct. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, there you can see some of the first editions at the time. Bone Shaker, 69 Corvette, Carrera, Carrera JP, Cyclops, Faradox. So there is the Porsche. It was also released in yellow and as a faster than ever. Maybe one day I'll talk about the faster than ever's, which were some special wheels with special axles that were incredibly fast. Honda Civic Type R. It was not part of a series. It just shown Honda Civic Type R there. It was also a faster than ever. We have not seen this model much since. It did have the plastic headlights. I don't know if you can see that. But that one would be a very popular model now, the Type R. That's considered a pretty legendary Honda as well, that particular series, or that particular Type R. Um, but we haven't seen it much ever since. Put these down here. A couple of others that I really liked. Here was the debut of the Corvette C6R, which we've seen. First edition, 25 of 38. I think they're up to 50 now, right? This is also released in... Uh, gray, silver, 69 Camaro. There's some of the other ones that were first editions from the Drop Star series. The most famous model from the Drop Star series is that bottom one, the Nissan Skyline. But we, you can see the Bling's Mercedes Benz G500, which is not what you think it is. These are Bling's models. They were all scrunched. You've seen some of them in the Tune series in 2017. But the Chevy Impala, I have the Skyline, but I've wanted that Chevy Impala. And it was really neat to see that is one clean model, if you look at it. Lace wheels. Gray body, black top. How cool is that? Just clean, clean, clean. I might open that one, so let's put that right here. Another clean model, the 1947 Chevy Fleet Line in matte black with just a nice little clean flame. Try and get this more in the light. Lace wheels as well. And the Corvette you've seen. Maybe we'll open that one too. All right. And then this was the other ones from 2006 that I was really happy to find. Another one of the first editions right there. Number 7 of 38. And I found all the colors that were in this store. There was the first release in yellow. 
second release in gold, and the third release in white, which is a Kmart exclusive. So wherever they stock these from, I was very excited to find all three. They're on the back. Some of the other models, Ferrari 512M, there's that Carrera 69 Corvette, which is this one. So another really clean version, PR5 wheels. We've seen this model several times since, but there's what it looked like in its first release. There's what it looked like in its second. It might have had a fourth color, I think maybe red, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong on that. This one was my is my favorite in white. I don't know why. I used to have it, and I got rid of it. There was a PR5 variation and a window variation on this one, too. How cool is that? So I might... You know what? We'll open that one. How's that sound? No. Let's open all three of them. Okay. Like I said, we went to 2006. When we also went to 2009. Artwork on the cards. And speaking of Corvettes, there it is again. Another clean release. The ZL1. It's the same casting with the... Uh, with another special, just very clean livery on it. Another one of my favorite models that debuted in 2009, the Chevelle Wagon. We've seen that as a Moon Eyes. We've seen it all kinds. Of seen it as a Super Treasure Hunt. Just one little stripe there. Okay. Two Acuras, Acura NSX racing cars. This is kind of. This was a bit of a peg warmer back then, but it's, it's definitely experiencing a bit of a resurgence. So we have it in blue, recolor in red. Is there a checklist here? No, just some information on the car. So we've seen the NSX Sense, but this was the first version, this racing car with the black spoiler. We're going to see this model again very soon in a premium line which is very cool and last but not least a big surprise very popular model was the dream garage nissan skyline r32 now let me give you my opinion on this model i think the casting isn't great i think it could be improved i think we could, should release a whole new r32 if i'm if i'm being honest but of the R32's release, this one and a version in blue are my favorite. Black wheels, black hood, black spoiler, front detail, rear detail. Really, really clean. There's the artwork. All right, let's do some opening. How cool is that to find, huh? I was a little surprised. All right, we're going to work through these Corvettes. I'm just going to let you look at them. I've already talked through them. Give you a close up. That was the first color. Here's the second. Ah, smell that 2006 air. Whew. Doesn't seem that long ago, but it really was that long ago. See, there's the Corvette in yellow. Here it is in gold. Let's open up the Kmart with the OH5 wheels. What color do you like the best? I personally, I think the yellow is probably the truest, but I really dig this white version. I don't know if you can see, but it's got like the little... There you go, on the engine, 427, 87. All right, well, that's rolling. Let's do the Chevy Fleet Line. This is a model that back then I wouldn't have picked up, but now it just seems like the right thing to do. And isn't that what happens when you pass something by? This thing is pretty darn cool. Lace wheels, love that little piece over the windshield, just a cool rod. 
I could see this at the Ratfink reunion, parked in the front lawn in Manti, Utah, in what May or June when they do it. Last, let's open this awesome Impala. Lowered, cool. One I have actually looked for on eBay and debated and debated whether I want it. I wanted to pay for it, but at the grocery store prices, absolutely. Like I said, look at that two-tone. Black, gray, chrome base. The Drop Stars logo, like you see on the uh, R32 Skyline as well, from that year. Love the lace wheels on it. All right, those were my lucky finds. It's kind of fun to share. Tell me which models you like. Talk to you later. Bye.